Sherry Moon Zombie is one of the best actresses I've ever seen. Really? (laughs) (laughs) We can't have dead air, so. I did. (laughs) (laughs) Woo! It's the Golden Army Show! That's the end. And that's Sasha. And we are live on Adobe Radio on a Monday night in the studio, live and alive. (laughs) 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 That is us. Thank you for hanging out with us, per the huge. Thank you, Adobe, for being such kind, for being such a kind home. I, for for the nerds, find us everywhere. You can find us on Adobe's <laughs> Instagram. Ah, we have some Halloween decorations in here, and uh, TS is getting comfortable with one of them. Yeah, I have. Uh, I made a friend. Ah, it's my friend. <laughs> he could be our third. <laughs> 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 you could jump on the mic. Maybe get a little stoned, smoke a bone. Ah. Hey, hey! You know I'm gonna put that in the Instagram caption <laughs> about this. Show, um, find us everywhere. You can find us on Instagram. I believe we we're. It's you know best to look for us like through Adobe kind of because sometimes Instagram uh, plays a little funny because we have the word weed in our name. But we follow the rules and we we do everything by the book. So we've been showing up again uh, on, on Instagram feeds and and also what else is that it? Twitter. I just tweeted and tagged and and added. Oh us. yeah, we're uh, cool nerd. Weed. I've been uh, on X. Yes, X, oh, X, yes. I don't know. I never started calling it X. I'm sorry. Either did I, until <laughs> just now. Yeah, look at in you ca- correcting me. In, in, in ca- <laughs> just sorry. in case people are confused at which platforms we're on. Good, that's, I know, I know. It's a good point. <laughs> you make a good point. <laughs> no, the Twitter did change its name. Yes, it did. We're on it Blue did. Sky. Yeah, we're... <laughs> We are actually on many, many platforms. You could really just Google Cool Nerd Weed Show, um, find us on Adobe, find us everywhere, and we are here. You know, you know what I was thinking of first too, because we're gonna do like a little bit of a Halloween episode. I was thinking of like those caramel apples we did. Was that for like a plant based? Oh show? yeah, that was. Um, yeah, that was a plant based show. It was right. Yeah, we did CBD caramel apples. You could probably find that somewhere on YouTube. Um, they were delicious. They were. They were. <laughs> they were really they good. They were delicious. Uh, not necessarily the prettiest of- No, they, of, were, uh, they were a mess. <laughs> they were a mess. And we didn't, and we never do this when we cook. We didn't do like a test run. You know, who has time? I mean, in this economy. Oh, our our, our test kitchen? Yeah, we don't have, yeah, we didn't have a test kitchen <laughs> or anything. We just, you know, rolled with it. So- it, it's delicious, even though it may not look it. And we're so funny. So if you could find that video online, then watch it. Because it's, like, enjoyable. Also, yeah, the uh, our, our hot dish yeah, video she... was uh, pinging around it was. the internet. Because... Thanks, thanks to Tim Walls. Yeah. V- hopefully future vice president Tim Walls is doing a hot dish thing. Yeah, he was going to send uh, you send him a donation, and he sends you his hot dish recipe. I wonder if it's as good as ours. Um. I haven't donated yet. So <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth be told. <laughs> so I don't know. But it's probably not. Ours was really good. I mean, maybe his is good. Minnesota is like, that's their thing. That It is. It's yeah. a traditional Minnesotan, a Minnesotan recipe. We'll talk about Tim Walls and Kamala a little bit later. Uh, we're going to save all that fun for last. But we wanted to have a little bit of a spooky <laughs> episode. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded like a booberella. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> uh, um, we did want to have one. So it is spooky season. We get into it, TS and I. We basically we have like every year we do some horror movie watching. We designate a few days out of the month to hang out. Well, we always hang out, but we designate a few days to horror movie hangs. And we've been putting together our list this year. And I, this weekend, decided to get a head start. I mean, I I definitely do partake on my own, too. I watch as many horror movies as I can in October, new and old and all, all sorts of stuff. And I really was in the mood for Hereditary. You haven't seen Hereditary. Is that with um, Tony Collette, the model? Tony Collette. <laughs> is she a model? Was she a model? 
I don't think. Uh, She's it, great. Oh no, maybe that was a different movie. Are you thinking of Midsummer? Well, I don't know if there's a model in Midsummer, but anyways, um, uh, Hereditary. Look it up. You pull it, pull, pull it up on the old internet. Up. Let me see what I can find. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Ari Aster, he kind of exploded on the scene with uh, with Hereditary a few years ago, and it's 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 a really really good movie. If you if you like horror, it's a good movie. Even if you don't like horror, it's a good movie. It's just fantastic. Of a, uh, it is a beautiful film from start to finish. I am obsessed with it. There's going to be spoilers probably in this episode. So if you don't like spoilers and you haven't seen these movies, um, I don't know, listen later or keep listening. We're, all, we're, we're hilarious. It's worth the spoiler. But, but if you don't want things spoiled, we're going to talk about Hereditary now. Um, it, it's, it's so good. It's such a good movie. And I decide, because I've seen Hereditary many, many times. And you haven't seen it, right? I have not. Is there a reason? It's not bloody. T.S. doesn't um, like blood. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I am, I am really very squeamish. sensitive to a lot of blood and guts and gore. Aww. So I may not have seen a lot of these, but I've seen a, a, a lot of the classic horror. We should watch Hereditary together because there is not a lot of blood in Hereditary at all. It's gnarly <laughs> as fuck in a lot of ways, but I wouldn't call it gory at all. It's just fucking horrifying the way this this director does film horror films is so good and it's so up my alley and it is just disturbing and weird and truly terrifying it's very it's a very quiet film there's no there are jump scares but they're not done in the traditional jump scare way where you hear like a loud noise and then a scare or you're like waiting for the scare It'll happen out of nowhere. It'll it'll be a jump scare, but with no sound, which is fucking weird. Sorry, I'm cussing. It fuck <laughs> it, it messed me up. Okay, it messed me up. So I saw this movie when it first came out. I saw it a bunch of times since on my own with friends, whatever. So my sister is in town. So I was like, oh, I'm in the mood for Hereditary now, and I decided to take a hundred milligram <laughs> RSO tab before because I was like, That's you know done with my day was ready to to party unwind and party that's a pretty hefty dose it is and i after i did it i texted you i was like i don't know why i did that because I, <laughs> I usually just have them which is still pretty hefty for sure so i i was like i'll be you know it's fine i'm a professional i'll be i'll be good and i was being kind of like stoner chatty like i definitely was like oh my God, like i was like all you know my poor sister was like, okay, because she doesn't smoke weed. So I was just talking about Hereditary and just the acting and the directing and how really deliberate everything is in that movie. Every single moment of that movie makes sense for later. It just all adds up. It's a really great detailed movie. But then it got to the third act, which is really when it pops off. And that's really when my RSO kicked in. <laughs> and I looked at my sister and I had like the covers all like pulled up to my chin. And I was like, do we have to finish it? <laughs> <laughs> she looked at me and she was like, what is wrong with you? You've seen this movie a bunch of times. I've never seen you like this. Why are you being weird? And I was like, I don't know, maybe I'm stoned or something. <laughs> What what's the um the evil force? Is it uh, it's, supernatural? It's a, the source is from like a cult. Okay. Yeah. So it's so, culty. Yeah, so it's a cult thing. Yeah. Okay. The way the way it pans out is this basically this like woman's mother, the main character's mother, passes away, and she kind of like kick started a a uh, what do you call it? a shrine, a dedication, a worship to like basically the devil or the devil adjacent. <laughs> and and her whole family is basically a sacrifice for this demon. Um and yeah, cults my favorite thing in the world. Yeah, cults are cult films, cult documentaries are are scary terrifying. on their own. Terrifying. And this is so like you kind of almost don't even see it going in the cult direction until it so clearly is like a cult movie and it there's a scene where she where there's a seance and one of the main characters that starts off the movie has passed away uh in a 
very horrible way. And <laughs> and they're the Tony Collette, the main character, is trying to conjure her up. So that scene, there's nothing even that crazy about that scene. There's just a lot of like quiet music. There's like weird noises that are made, like demon sounding noises, you know. And that like s- like flipped something in my brain, and I never came back. Like I was terrified from that moment on like my husband came home I was literally like my eyes were all big my sister fell asleep she fell asleep <laughs> at the end like she she had seen it before but she was like I really had never seen you like that before I could only chalk it up to that you were very stoned and I also never really can tell you're high so she's like when I can tell you're high you're high <laughs> <laughs> I was like no you're right <laughs> So all all of the uh, when you do uh, in vibe in cannabis, all of your senses are cer- certainly heightened. So all of that uh, horror music, yes, like really, it gets right to your brain, and you're so in the and moment. You, yeah, you're yeah, just watch like you're just the visual between the visuals, yeah. and then the soundscape and yeah. the silence. So you can't prepare, and even though I knew what was coming almost every time watching this movie the parts that I remember being terrifying in my head I was anticipating them and I was like I don't want to I don't want to that's <laughs> creating anxiety yes which is also what happens maybe when you take too much edibles you become paranoid so I had that paranoid moment and since I consume oh so much weed I wasn't worried that like you know someone was out to get me I was, <laughs> was worried that hereditary was just going to be playing in my brain forever <laughs> <laughs> and ever and ever and it just you know I kind of like let myself be in the moment and in like this the cinema is an experience <laughs> and I was experiencing it and it really did like I've seen this movie various stages of high I don't know if I would want to watch it this high again <laughs> Because I did see The Substance, which you cannot see, uh, last week. And that is a very crazy movie as well that just came out. So, so good. But it's people are talking about how gross it is everywhere. It's People are passing out in, in, in you know one of those things. And I watched it and I was chilling because I was really high. I took a 50 milligram RSO and I was like, this is gross, but like I'm not freaking out. I wasn't like. You know, usually there was like eyeball stuff. I won't go into it because you'll freak out. But there was like a lot of a lot of stuff. And if you want to see me vomit? I don't. And on, see, uh, well, that is my f- thing. I can't see any movies where people vom. Well, and it's in every movie, but I need to know like when it is. I have a metaphobia, so when TS gets squeamish about blood, I don't make him feel bad. And when I get squeamish about vomits, he doesn't make so. me feel bad. So. You know, I couldn't see like Triangle of Sadness or any like crazy Vaughn movie. Like I can't well, see those things. Let's. Uh, do you want to talk about a movie where there is classic Vaughns? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, so we're gonna talk about good movies to watch when you're high or when you're stoned. And this is subjective. And this is, you know, do this at your own risk. I don't want you watching, you know, fucking Army of Darkness and thinking you're gonna go battle the, <laughs> the Evil Dead's. Uh, do this at your own risk. Know that it may be a, a scary experience, but it is kind of fun to watch horror when you're high because you're really in the moment and you're really watching it. And also, like, a side effect is that you can't remember a lot of it. So, <laughs> like, it'll be new when you watch it again. So, classic bombs. Are you going to say The Exorcist? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're, yeah for I sure. Actually, that one isn't that bad for me, though, because it's like... We've no, watched that bombs. We've watched that together. Yeah. Um, I went to see the... The remake when it or the anniversary it. when it came out and had extra footage. Oh, the director's the cut. Director's the director's cut. cut was really good. And it had extended scenes. Yeah. And that were you vo- high? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I smoked with my friend uh, out of a one hitter in the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I was actually uh, in New York at the time. Really? Yeah. I mean, we went to the same time. And it's very much possible. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Smoking <laughs> out of our little uh, bat. I was smoking out of my bat all the way there. Yep. And. Um, I started. I was getting really like lightheaded when I was watching. Like those extended scenes were. I had never really seen The Exorcist in the theater. Yeah, true, 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 true. true. And then that whole theater experience. Yeah, like, it's totally different. Like the crab walk. The crab walk down the stairs. Down the stairs. Will stay with me for a long time. That is a good. That was a really great scene that they added because nobody had 
we hadn't seen that. And no. like you said, we had just known The Exorcist that we that we watched on freaking videotape as a child or yeah, something. Yeah, or it was like edited on TV. Right, 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 right. Yeah, it was like a, a Your like brother a sews time. socks in hell. <laughs> 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 Is that what it is? Oh. That's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Your mother so sucks in hell. <laughs> I can't even think of a riff because bombs. I'm laughing too hard. <laughs> Your mother so sucks in hell. <laughs> 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 Um, (laughs) uh, yeah, The Exorcist is one of my favorites to visit. I watched, I like watching it sober and high. I, my mom wouldn't even let us watch it in the house. She wouldn't allow the videotape in the house. Isn't that weird? Like, but we're, we were, you know, semi-religious, but we were not like this sort of, we weren't like that kind. She was just like scared of it. Like she won't even watch it if it's in the other room. Like the noises scare her. The, another one that all of the sounds and the noises and yeah. the silence yeah it all plays on, and of course, on your brain like it's just it's it's a really great one so um uh <laughs> this the what we're going off we're going off of various lists and our own list as well uh leafly uh the, their list included pairings of weed which i i feel like is a nice little touch um they pair it with devil fruit which is a little on the nose, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what would you pair it with? The uh, the uh, the Exorcist. The Exorcist was um, oh, it was paired with some uh, swag out of a uh, an aluminum one hitter. But today, yeah, today, <laughs> today I would pair it with a uh, Devil Driver. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I don't know what I would pair it with. I wasn't even going to go with anything devil called devil. I think I was, I don't know what I would pair it with. I'm going to have to come back to that. Um, like I was going to pair it with something that's like, like a, like a, just an uppie sativa. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, what? No, oh, that was the, uh, the Ullman. I'm sorry. I'm thinking, I'm getting my, You're getting whether it was like, I was thinking like, a, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, let's pair it with a uh, Durban poison. No, but I think that that's a good idea. It's, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say Durban, actually, but then I didn't because I felt stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Goes to show. You should always go with your gut. That's right. So The Exorcist is on this list, and it is on our list as well. We recommend The Exorcist for sure to watch when you're high. Yeah, anytime. I, I, I definitely will. Um, what's next? Uh, let's, I, w- I would like to go to The Army of Darkness. Okay, 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 okay. So this is also... A great movie to watch when you're high, but for different reasons. This isn't going to scare you, The Army of Darkness, right? No, I don't think it's. Uh, it's like I could handle it, but it is. Uh, it's silly. It is silly. Yeah. It's campy. Yeah. The effects are are hilarious. It's low budget. It's it's an art. It is a, it is a work of art. All it's, of the claymation. Well, it, actually, the funny thing about Army of Darkness is I just saw Bruce Campbell in an interview, and I mean, I love Evil Dead so much. I love Evil Dead too. So much. We just did an Army of Darkness viewing recently. And I remember coming out of it the same way that I came out of it when I first saw it. I was like, this is good. But it, it like because you're going into it thinking Evil Dead, it kind of falls short. of. It's an epic movie on its own. If it was just Army of Darkness. For sure. It would be bananas. But. He, Bruce Campbell was like the first film, I don't know what the exact numbers were, but the first film, the budget was like $90,000. The second film, it was $900,000. The third film, it was $9 million or something like that. Like it was. Yeah, like, they definitely got to, so, so they actually st- had a big movie studio budget for Army of Darkness. It's just Evil Dead, in its heart, is a low budget film. So that's why Army of Darkness, to me, is kind of you can watch it only when you're high. <laughs> You know what I mean? For sure. The first time I watched Army of Darkness, um, someone had given me some uh, some LSD oh. and some oh, that, oh. and some mushrooms, just like a little low dose that. of everything. <laughs> 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 that's uh, I feel like that's playing 
playing with fire. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a it was um it was a lot of fun. I was I probably yeah. was about to lose my mind when um there was all the little Bruce Campbells. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and then with their little high voices. <laughs> Yes. All the little ash. Yeah, ashes. Little ashes. That is definitely a good movie to watch when you're high. And to watch oh like I feel like definitely be like the kind of high where you like order mad pizza, which is for some people always, but some people it's not. Like I have to be a very specific high to have like munchies and giggles and stuff. And I like I feel like that's a great movie just to like pig out on and laugh and to continue on smoking through the experience. Like I was not smoking during hereditary. I was like holding myself tight and soothing <laughs> myself. But this is a this is a, a good and also on a hundred milligrams of weed. But this is definitely something you want to smoke during. Uh what what's next? Uh, uh what do you what do you want to let's do you want to talk about the fly? Oh, I just watched the fly the other day. <laughs> yes. I love the fly. Oh, always and forever the fly. Yes. Uh, Cronenberg, right? Yes. The Cronenberg. uh the Cronenberg version of the fly. Yes. Cuz I guess that was it was t- technically a remake. Really? Of a 1950s film. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh yeah. So, oh yeah, yeah, I guess it was. So, I just saw this. I think it was on like AMC or something, but it was fantastic, fantastic viewing. So you have your Jeff Goldblums, you have your David Cronenbergs, you have what's her name, uh, the female Gina Davis. Gina Davis is in it. Uh, great, great stuff. Body horror, though, quite, quite a, quite a lot of body horror. Yeah, I saw this in 1986 in the theater, and I realized oh. that I was. Uh, 13 years old. Aw, little baby. And uh, definitely went with the uh, my some other 13 year olds. I I didn't know this was rated R. It makes sense. I it feel does like. make sense that yeah. But uh, they didn't care the matinee. <laughs> they just let us in <laughs> in 1986. Yeah, they weren't they weren't super strict. They were not checking IDs and stuff. Paid paid my 325. It's also really short. It's like 96 minutes. It's like. It moves. It moves yeah. very fast. Yeah, I noticed and that. I was like, "Oh, we're already here." Okay, okay. I was. Uh, I mean, I, at thirteen, I was not high. No, true, true. I was high the other day when I watched this, and it it was it was uh, great. <laughs> it was it was very good. It was there's 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 vomes in it, but uh, it's like fly vomes. <laughs> I, to me, that's way that's just as gross. Oh really? Yeah, like no, that. No, see, that's how I could be okay with it if I it's know a it's fly bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Emetophobia I... is weird, but if you have emetophobia, you probably get it. If it's it, the sound, you know what I mean? It's like it has to be like a human sound. If it's like if it's the, if it's like a little blah, 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 blah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was, and I because I remember I, I like flinched and I was like, oh, this isn't really that bad. Um, but that one is creepy, and Jeff Goldblum's great. I mean, he really acts the shit out of of becoming a fly he really does it's it's a great like physical transformation that he does but also i mean he doesn't literally turn to fly but like you know he he goes nuts and a great acting transformation that he does and also watch the companion simpsons (laughs) 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 um yes very very good the the fly is 100 percent. i would recommend to watch while you're high, and you can definitely like smoke while you watch this. Eating, I don't know, it's a little gross. Yeah, I don't know if you can eat during it. During any Cronenbergian any... thing, like watching the substance. It wasn't the substance wasn't Cronenberg, but it was you. It was very an ode, and it it's gross. You, I was like, I had popcorn with like my cheese. It was like, <laughs> no, thank you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Cronenberg really is. A plus plus plus, but in terms of movies to watch when you're high, is there any more Cronenberg movies that you would say to watch? Because I could only, I feel like I would only say. Oh, uh, what's the one with the uh, with the twin gynecologist? That's not. Um, uh, That's not Cronenberg. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, I would. I'm sorry. The um, the name of it is escaping me. Not night. No. Not Nightbreed. 
uh, I was just talking about this with somebody. Um, it's it's but weird as fuck. Not the brood. No, no, okay. no. Because the brood, I, w- I wouldn't watch when I was high. Uh, I don't remember. Dead Ringers. Oh, yes. Wait, wait, weren't we just talking about it? We do. We, <laughs> we talk about all these things all we the do, time. We do. The, all Dead the Ringers is actually, yes, also a really good one to watch when you're high. Agreed. It's 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 also like this. Yeah, it's a good movie to watch when you're high, but it's definitely like a trippy one. You know, there's a lot of like there's like whatever uh, psychosis, druggy moments in there. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of that, a lot of trippy stuff in there. Twins on their own. Definitely a trip, you know, like and if you're a twin, you're probably very cool. <laughs> I love twins. Uh, <laughs> they're very cool. And uh, The Shining <laughs> made us afraid of them. Um, <laughs> but, you, but you shouldn't be afraid of twins. No, you should not. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, 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 that's a really great one. Have you ever seen Prince of Darkness? Um, I, is it a va- vampire movie? Uh, sort of? I, yes, I, kind I, of. It's. I don't think so. Kind of, no. I mean, it's basically like an anti-Christ kind of movie um do you know do you remember the marilyn manson song down to the park um probably do you remember the beginning there's like a part where he's like you're receiving this transmission from the year one nine 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 that's from prince of darkness okay (laughs) (laughs) okay that makes sense um but yeah so so prince of darkness is actually a pretty good movie to watch when you're high this is on the leafly uh list i would say it's just a great goth moment it's just a moment where the satanic panic was oh wait i'm wearing my exorcist shirt i forgot we were talking about this yeah the time. this is my favorite Look. um <laughs> <laughs> the uh it, it, it's just like oh john carpenter's yeah oh okay i i i did see this but it's been a long time yeah it's an old movie and if you don't if it's not on your list, you kind of may not revisit it. It is on my list all the time. Chris and I watch it all the time. We should we should put it on our list if you haven't if you don't remember it well cuz it's great. You know, there's there's some great like kills, but it's also really creepy and unsettling and the whole movie you're just kind of like, "Ooh, I feel I feel satany. I feel like <laughs> Satan's going to come." And <laughs> And he does, turns out. 1987 was uh, right in the heart of the satanic panic. Yep. Yep, it was it was certainly at the forefront of everybody's minds. Um, okay, I don't really like any of the other ones that they say on this Leafly one. No, no. We are talking about horror movies to watch when you're high because I had a traumatic experience watching Hereditary this weekend while I took a 100 milligram RSO. Do not do what I do. Do not. But if you know you want to get a little crispy, especially with your homies, and order some munchies and get down with it. These are some movies that we feel like are pretty safe to do and you you won't be broken in your brain like I was <laughs> after. I will say, honorable mention before we get to the next ones, um, uh, The Color Out of Space I just wanted to mention, which is also another movie TS hasn't seen yet, but it's on a bunch of lists also to watch when you're high. It is so trippy that I don't even remember any of the recaps that I'm reading. Like I definitely was very high. Like I was also like, I was definitely taking RSO when I saw this movie and I don't remember anything, but the fusing of the monster. Uh, and then after that, Nicholas cage just kind of screaming a lot. Um, and that's really all you need to know about it to know that it's a really great movie to watch when you're stoned. But again, it is something that is super like it's kind of intense. I feel like like I was it it was for me when you're high. So I wanted to put color out of space out there. And I also would say like in terms of like what to smoke, definitely smoke something that, you know, calms you a little bit. Maybe you can eat something during this, at least some popcorn and uh, and stay hydrated throughout all of this. But color out of space is just an honorable mention. So <laughs> when <laughs> we're definitely gonna watch it this yeah. spooky season. When you were talking about hereditary, and I thought I knew I had seen it, I was thinking of species. Oh, with uh, Natasha, uh, what's her name? Hen- Henstridge. Oh, oh wait, when did that come out? 
That was 19, uh, the nineties. Uh, yeah, n- had to be oh, early nineties. I think it was the early nineties. I do remember this. I never saw this one. This one's about aliens. Aliens, right? yeah. it's like aliens, and oh, but like this a, is she's like, like a sexy alien. Yeah. This, oh no, I was not talking about. <laughs> yes, this was not the movie that was the most. Br- one of the most brilliant horror movies of the recent years. No, I wasn't talking about Species. I was, I was 1993. <laughs> where Tony Collette should get an Oscar for how good she she acted. I wasn't mentioning the seductress alien who turns into a killer. <laughs> but also probably a good thing to watch when you're high. I, I feel like. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we, you, that could be your honorable mention. <laughs> uh, so next, we are going to talk, wait, which one? Oh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, yeah. The Nightmare on Elm Street, the series. Definitely the whole series is like anywhere you jump in is good. The first one is a really good good stone horror movie always recommend that and then they do i mean the second one is completely different from all of them for reasons that we don't have time to go into and the rest of them are a little they're silly you know like they're like what is it on rick and morty like scary terry like yeah bitch like (laughs) (laughs) there's a lot of but it's also like there's some really great kills in those movies and they're they're freaky. They are. They're kind of bloody. They're pretty they're, bloody. They're pretty bloody. The first one is pretty bloody, and and a lot of the other ones are very bloody as well. I think like the middle Freddies are really good. I think like Freddy three. I remember that was the three D version. Oh no! Then it was four. You, remember was, were you and I watching the we 3D were watching version? three. Yeah. <laughs> And I remember when it came out, it was in 3D, yeah, but yeah. It, not the whole film, just like a specific part. Where you have to put on your glasses. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like in the dream sequence, Freddy puts his 3D glasses yeah. on, and that, that's when cue the audience to put their yeah. 3D glasses on. And like every time like we saw like a, a steak go through, or like whatever, like, like a stick come out, we were like, like ah! Like the claws. Yeah, yeah the claws. Like, ooh, yeah. Ooh, 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 ah. ooh, ooh. <laughs> but I remember when we were watching it, I was like, I feel like they could have done a lot more with this. Like, it was kind of like whack for even, like, it was whacker than whack. <laughs> like, so Freddy 3 was not the best. What was, maybe it was 5 that I remember really enjoying, especially when um, the Dream Child. The Dream, dream Child. child. Yeah. Yes. I just watched The Dream Child. Yes. That and... would you recommend it high? Um, for sure, for yeah. sure. I was pretty, you know, I was just home. I was like, I got to put this on because I didn't, re- didn't really remember the dream trial and what the whole premise was. But Freddie is born. So there's a whole yeah. like trippy dream hospital pregnancy. Yes, there birth is. Scene. Yes, there is. Yes, there and, is. You know, that really, that kind of got me. Like I, I, I had to turn it off for a minute because I was eating. This was during my Sunday dinner. <laughs> 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 like I'm gonna we finish eating and I'll go back to this. Yeah, it I, definitely it's it's trippy. For sure. Yeah. And you know, all like doctor and medical things like yeah. just get to me. I know. But you know, I know they do. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh you know, I definitely would recommend I don't know if I'd recommend a specific strain. For me, it'd have to be an indica to chill me the fuck out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Fred, the the Freddy Five is is it's not like high octane, but it certainly is. It's weird. There is a lot of hospital stuff. Did you like Halloween too? In the hospital. Oh, okay. Um, the the, the original. One, right? Yeah, the original. The original. Yeah, no, um, not the Rob Zombie one. Um, <laughs> the, um, oh, because uh. No, no. Any any sort of weird like Halloween two did. Do you remember not, which one? Is that Halloween two that, that I'm was about? that took? Yeah, that one took you place. You didn't like it? No. Oh, no. it's so good. Wait, did you like Exorcist three? Um, yes. The one that we watched. The that one we, we made watched. You watch. Yeah. yeah. So that's all hospital too. That is. That was different though. I mean, that's like okay. So that was like that okay. was like okay. There wasn't like because it was like mental mental patient, institution. Hospital a little there bit. wasn't yeah, like okay. surgeries going on or anything. Okay. Oh, like, Halloween two is so good because it's mm. like when everybody's had a, a a stay in a doctor's office at least, but everybody's pretty much been to the hospital. And when it gets when like it starts to turn down and it's like after dinner and it gets dark and like you're on a floor that nobody else is on, bruv. 
Like that's scary. That is scary beans. And then you like you put yourself in in like what's her name? Jamie Lee Curtis's like shoes. That's what I do when I'm high. I put myself in all of the positions that are being played, which is probably why <laughs> my brain bleeds out of my ears by the time I'm done. <laughs> but that's what I did for hot for for that for that one. Oh man. Give me snap. Now, <laughs> now the Rob Zombie Halloweens I saw in the theater. And even though everybody hated them, I thought that his his gore got to me. Well, they were really gory. And like I at one point there was like a head being smooshed. There, yeah, there's a smooshed head. And um that really got to me and, and I wanted to leave, but um I, c- <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up like basically looking at the floor for the next uh, forty five minutes. Yeah, there was like an okay amount of gory for sure. That's kind of like his thing, I guess. With the House but of a Thousand. Nobody yet. Oh, those, forget it. You can't do those. Forget it. You don't like any of those. High, not high, forget yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm high, That's even. Fair. Oh, no. Devil's no. Rejects. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you don't like in those, for sure, for sure. Um, He did do one. What is his other one that he did? Uh, The Lords of Salem? Did you watch that one? Um, there was the there was Shocker, like the Charlie three. Is the main character, <laughs> but um, <laughs> was, uh, I know it's weird. There, you never see that. There was three, right? There was the House of a Thousand Corpses. Well, so Lords of Salem's a different. Um, oh, it's a different. Yeah, thing. the the third one of the that installation of of the that world. Uh, it it was butts. By the time he got there, it, we had run out of gross, weird, fucking gags that that and like I think he was distracted with doing a poorly made. Halloween film um, but it just it wasn't the, it wasn't it didn't hit uh, but Lords of Salem is a movie that you can watch Sherry plays like a radio jock okay, um, okay. And kind of gets like possessed or something I don't remember the, the deal but I remember like really being freaked out and really enjoying it and since you were also on the radio you could maybe like experience it Sherry Moon Zombie is one of the best actresses I've ever seen really <laughs> We can't have dead air, so I did. <laughs> Absolutely, you've seen her dance. She's one of the best twirlers yeah, that I've ever she seen. Is am- besides, she is like amazing. the Fleetwood Mac. What's her name? The Fleetwood Mac chick. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, she twirls with the best of them, for sure. She's, you know, she's all right. <laughs> um. Moving What's, along. Uh, f- how about some classics like uh, like 1980 Friday oh, yeah. the 13th? Okay, the Friday the 13th are great to watch. I would say if you, definitely if you're high, for sure, great high movie Friday the 13th. Um, but like definitely added bonus if you're staying somewhere, like if you're having like a sleepover or you're like, not in your own house. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If you're like, uh, you're in a cabin in the woods. Yeah. You are sleep, exactly. sleepover for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Cause there's always like, in all of them, everybody's like drinking and smoking yep. and having and a, just having like a good And just like getting inebriated and putting, like having their, what do you call it? Their uh, inhibitions are being lowered and released <laughs> and they're getting all... Sexy. I mean, the Friday the 13th are, they basically become soft porn towards the end of them. I went, I last, that was my most recent series viewing. I, I watched all the Fridays last year. You, you jumped in on a couple of them with me. And yeah, we made it to uh, Jason X. We, X. Uh, which I don't, I don't think we watched it, right? Or did we? Um, no, I, I watched that one. I think I watched that one on my own. Yeah, I think I we. Like... I think we did one through nine, and then yes. we did ten. Yes, and it just it's you know <laughs> that's all, again another good movie to watch high, but it's a little it's like Army of Darkness in the way that you're going to kind of laugh along with it and be like, what the fuck am I watching? Uh, but it's also you know it's part of the franchise and it's a fun fun thing to watch. You kind of have to watch it as a rite of passage. Uh, so always recommend the Friday the 13th for sure. I would also like to mention, I would like to mention, um, uh, where is it? Hold on. God damn it. Oh, there's a couple I want to mention. Uh, the Mist. Have you seen The Mist? 
The Mist. No. That's no. The, that's based on a Stephen King uh, short story. It's very good. A uh, very classic, like kind of Stephen King weird thing is happening. We don't know what it is. It's supernatural. Everybody's going to turn against each other. The ending is brutal. Just it's actually like really emotional. Um, that one I would recommend. Uh, I would not recommend to watch any found footage movies when you're high. I love found footage movies, but when you're high, mm, no. <laughs> the like the shaky cameras. Yeah, and it's that makes like, me uh, Yeah, yeah, I can see that. All that uh, first person. Yeah, yeah. It gets, it gets to be a little too much. It does. It does. It's a little. It's a little much for me. But I. But but otherwise, I love found footage movies. The new VHS just came out. It's really, really, really good. If you haven't seen it, that I would totally recommend. But not high. And that. And we're talking about things to watch when you're high. Uh, anything else you think? Uh, something fun. Something, something fun. fun. Oh, like Scream. Uh, Scream. Oh yeah. Scream is great. I think Scream is. A fantastic! It really did revive the slasher movies for the '90s, and then continued it on. You know, there, there's there's really nothing wrong with the first Scream. I can find nothing wrong with that movie. It's so fucking good. Um, but you know, it's it get franchises, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I haven't seen the. Ter- uh, you can't watch Terrifier. You can't even think about Terrifier. But I saw Terrifier two all day, but I didn't see it in the theater. I would like to see Terrifier 3 in the theater. I'm worried people are going to bomb, but hopefully they won't. It's supposed to be pretty rough. Um, what else? Is there anyone uh, else before we do our last break? Um, just, oh, something fun like uh, like g- Gremlins. Gremlins. Gremlins is good. That's a good movie to watch when you're high. Um, it's a border on, it uh, go, goes into that spooky season into uh, Christmas, which there's a lot of uh, bl- yes. blurring uh, Halloween horror and yeah. like Christmas films. True, there really is. But Gremlins Two, wow. Gremlins, well, Gremlins Two is I don't even know how to describe. We watched it last night. Watch the Keen Peel sketch on Gremlins Two while you're high. After you watched Gremlins Two, <laughs> while you're still high, go on YouTube and watch the Keen Key and Peel sketch on Gremlins Two because it is. It is a trip. It, it's just a trip. It's throwing all of the spaghetti at the wall and seeing and everything. Yeah. Everything stuck. Yeah, it's throwing everything. All the courses they threw at the wall. Um, another honorable mention before we go: the cabin in the woods. It, it, did you see that one? No. God damn no. it! Uh, I'm scared <laughs> of a lot of things. This one is good. It's it is also a more recent one. It was like 2012. Uh, it's kind of like it's good. It. it it, it takes a, a play on traditional slasher movies and kind of makes it something bigger. And it's just a great, it's like a great journey. It's super freaky and scary and has everything that like a normal slasher movie would have, like sexy teens and like, um, you know, a virgin or something. Like all, all, the, all the things that you need in a slasher movie. And then kind of like turns it on its head and basically like they're all being controlled by an outside force. Because they have to pay tribute to like this big monster that will end the world if they don't scare these teens into whatever the fuck they need to do. So it's good, you know. So what would I be able to handle it? Yeah, one hundred percent. Okay. There's like not a lot of well, blood. Let's put it on the list. Yeah, yeah. We have so many things to watch this week. So those are our recommendations. I mean, like the, the Leafly list had the weed uh, companions, but. Honestly, just watch something that's going to help your tummy and that's going to get you through and that's not going to break your brain. And also, if it's a movie that you haven't seen yet, just make sure it's a movie that you don't care about missing some parts or plot or anything like that. That's what I would recommend. (laughs) And uh, definitely, uh, if you do it alone, just have your phone next to you. You can DM us. We are always here for you if you're scared. The final huff and puff with TS and Sasha. Okay. <laughs> it's the final huff and puff with TS and Sasha, just like the mate said. And we're just going to quickly, five minutes, go over, uh, gloss over the new news. And we'll, we'll touch back on this because it's election season. Um, Vice President Kamala Harris, who is running for president at this moment, is October 14th, 2024. Uh, she has said publicly 
and probably privately that she intends to legalize weed. She loves it now. It's her <laughs> it's her it's her favorite thing and she is thankfully actually coming up with a plan, right? Yeah, everybody wants to see Kamala Harris's plans. When you talk to these undecided voters, right. they're like, what's her plan? Right. Well, she's presenting her she plans to you right is now. She's telling us. Like, she has been like, oh, you want to know what my plan is? She's going to do a freaking interview on Fox News, she announced soon. That is, uh, that's amazing. Like, she she said, oh, what'd you yeah. say? What'd you say? I don't do interviews. Okay, bitch, I'm going to do this interview. Like, she is absolutely slaying it with fire at this moment in time. And I'm really, really glad and grateful that um, she is is coming up with stuff. Um, uh, so is there anything that like is new about the, oh, I mean, it's like kind of like vague, right? The stuff that she's come, like that she said. Well, I mean, it's, it's, you know, she wants to right the wrongs of, right. of the drug war and, uh, people who have been dis, uh, disproportionately right, affected. Exactly. Um, specifically she's appealing at this moment to black men. Yes. And, yes. um, you know, she wants to, you know, get that social equity going. Absolutely. Uh, if people want to, that have been affected by the war on drugs, they will be able to get loans yeah. and uh, some funding and possible, possibly funding that doesn't even need to be paid back. Right. So that's part of the plan. Like that's put in, in some funding in there that is dedicated. Yeah, to the people who, who have right. been affected the most mm -hmm. by the war on drugs. Which is people of color. Yes. So... Um, that's uh, that's part of the plan. Um, I don't I don't have any specific details yeah, whether it's going to be like descheduled, rescheduled, but it will be um, it will be federally something's going to happen in the Fed. Yeah, there's going to be something that happens in the Fed. Uh, I think she like is kind of like contrasting it with um, Trump's whatever ideas about weed um like basically it'll stay stagnant or go backwards um and there would be a continued uh disproportionate use of weed possession laws which was the problem in the first place um especially uh affecting black americans and uh she wants to specifically address that she wants to address uh, continuing on for civil rights. She wants to address what went wrong with uh, the the war on drugs, which is everything. It's that it's a thing. And she wants we to be at the forefront of correcting those wrongs. And I feel like that is a great place to start. She has always been down with weed i mean she was when she was a senator she's it's it's been a long time that she's been pro weed so we really can't ask for a better candidate right now somebody who can talk to everybody and also us you know when's that when's the last time that's happened you know <laughs> you know because the weed people we're always left kind of hanging we're always left to the states which is great thank god for that or else we wouldn't have what we have but we're kind of always like okay it's gonna stay schedule one next to cocaine you know we 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 always we always get kind of the fuzzy end of the lollipop at the end of the day. We, yeah, we we do, and then you know somebody else comes in like Donald Trump mm -hmm. and appoints an attorney general mm -hmm. who rescinds like protections that were put into place mm -hmm. by Obama. Right. So yeah, that's the fuzziest end of the lollipop. And there was that interview that they did, and uh, the vice presidential pres presidential nominee Tim Waltz has said that um, he would like to focus on the use of access, of weed access for veterans through the VA and um, uh, banking. So the two things that are so, so needed in this life of sin are VA access to weed. And we've talked about this on a show, many shows before. It is criminal that veterans for all that they've done for our country, do not get access to weed um, or else they get their VA benefits uh, revoked or restricted or put, it's, it's a mess. And uh, banking is also insane that businesses can't do normal business like every other company because they're a weed company. It's, it's silly. It's absurd. It's very silly. So that's the, fir the first thing that needs to happen is the Fed needs to figure it out. And then the next two things that will be unlocked I believe, would be the VA and banking. Right, exactly, exactly. And she says 
She's going to do all of those things. And I believe it, too. It, I think it is going to be one of the first businesses, one of the first businesses of orders. Uh, so great. Good news. We just wanted to touch on that and bring it up. And we'll talk more about it uh, for sure, for sure, in the coming weeks because Election Day is right around the bend. We can see it coming. We see her there. And we're getting to it. And I am grateful that it's at least one of the nominees is <laughs> is down with it all. So thank you, Kamala. And thank you, Scary Movies. And thank you, RSO. And thank you, Hereditary and Species. And... And Sherry Moon Zombie. And Sherry Moon... <laughs> and, and... Don't panic. <laughs> it's organic. <laughs>